guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today. It's on the plugin Hyperdrive. So this is a fantastic warping plugin which has so many cool features. So to begin with, we're going to look at the commands. If you do forward slash warps, this will show you uh, the GUI. Now in here, uh, we have lots of different types of warps. There is public warps, my warps, warp shop, private warps, and server warps. So um, let's do warps help, and this will show us all the different commands. So there is quite a few here. To begin with, we're going to create our own warp um, by doing this. So warps create, and then we're going to call it YT, like that. And if you want to teleport to it, you can also do warps, and then the name. So warps YT, and that will TP you to it. As you can see in chat, I have bypassed the cooldown and the delay, because obviously I'm op of the server, and that won't affect me. There are tons of different permissions in this plugin, so you can give various donators or ranks um, permissions to bypass uh, the cooldown and whatnot. So that's a cool feature. Uh, then we can actually obviously delete it. We can get the permission of the warp, which is a very useful command. So get permission of YT, and it will tell us what the permission is for people to warp here. So that's a cool feature. You can also change the permission by obviously changing get to set, set permission to, uh, I don't know, what can we set it to, hello.yt. And that is the new permission though that players would need to teleport to that warp. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the uh, GUI by doing warps. And in here, we are going to have a look at uh, these various uh, buttons. So let's go into server warps to begin with. There's quite a few in here. There is the warp shop that I made, there is the spawn, there is test, as you can see it's um, enchanted, and there's YT that we just created. So if you want to make um, your warp enchanted, you can do warps TE, and then uh, the warp name, and that will uh, make it enchanted for some reason, uh, but that's pretty cool. Maybe uh, only donators warps could be enchanted or something like that. Whatever you want, really. So we are going to, um, click on it and it will teleport us there. If we shift click uh, like this, shift left click, you will get another GUI open with which has a ton of different things. So you can change the name, you can change the icon ID and it will allow you to put a number in, in chat. So let's put five and obviously because we're up we don't have to pay for anything which is great but uh, normal players would have to pay to edit everything about their warps. So let's go in and see what else we can edit. Obviously we can give it the enchanted look uh, in here as well. We can change the description, the icon amount, so that is pretty cool. You can change the description color and name color. So let's go ahead and change the name color. As you know, these are all the color codes in Minecraft. Um, let's just go ahead and choose nine, which is sort of a nice blue color, if you didn't know. And let's go back there, um, and there we go, it's changed to blue and we can delete the warp, we can give uh, ownership to someone else, we can remove an owner and we can add an owner. So obviously my other account I could give ownership to, like that, but obviously he's not on the server right now, so um, we can't actually add him. So let's go back into this and we can change the warp status. So as you can see there are, well if we go into the menu there are lots of different, let's just cancel this, there are lots of different statuses of warps. So there is a public um, or personal warp, the shop warp, the server warp, and private. So when you create a warp, it obviously becomes a server warp instantly, but you could change it to um, a public warp so everyone can do it, or private warp so only a few people can. So that's a cool feature. If you right click a warp, this is a really cool feature, your group will be teleported there. So if you're with friends, you can do warps, group invite and someone's name obviously i can't invite myself but um my other account could join my group and we'd be teleported together wherever we go which is such a useful feature in this plugin because i know when i played servers with my friends i'd say come to warp uh, tree or something and they'd be at the wrong warp or something it'd be very very confusing so that is a very awesome feature really like that you can do that um, so yeah, that is how you edit the warp, obviously we can delete it, and there we go, it's been deleted. So if we have a quick look at the rest of the commands, um, you can do warps tpul, um, 
and teleport all players to here. And you can also uh, obviously set the status of a particular warp. So warp sets status of say warp YT, even though we deleted it to public, so everyone could use it. Or it could be a private warp, or it could be a server warp, or it could be a shop warp, whatever you want. So we are going to hit the config files now. So here we are in the hyperdrive folder, and as you can see, there are five different files. The main one you want to edit is the config file, which we will look at in a second. But there is a couple others you could edit if you really wanted to customize this plugin. We have the language.yml, uh, which is cool. You could change the prefix, obviously, if you wanted to, depending on your server. Um, but there's not too much in there you want to change. We then have the menus.yml, uh, which has everything to do with the GUIs, the slots, the amounts, the IDs, the laws, the names, the colors, all of that good stuff. So I wouldn't recommend changing any of this because it looks fantastic already and the dev has worked hard to make it look really cool. But uh, if you wanted to edit that, I mean, you could really easily, but uh, try not to mess it up or get any errors. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the config file, which has the main bulk of everything. So um, I've already edited this a tiny bit, but uh, let's have a look at it anyway. Converters, so this is a really cool part of the plugin. If you have essentials, most people do, you might want to convert your essential warps to this plugin. If you set that to true, it will do that on startup, which is really cool. I love how that plugin does this. Um, it's a really unique feature and it will save you a lot of effort uh, redoing all the warps and such. Down here, you can choose which status the new warps um, that are converted take. Public, I would recommend, unless uh, they're private or whatnot, but uh, public warps, and then you can obviously change them from there. We then have all the cooldowns and um, various times. So if the player moves, should they be cancelled, etc. Um, which is pretty cool. 15 second warp cooldown, which is kind of, um, yeah, that's pretty good, I suppose. Group warping. Now, this is my favorite feature of this plugin. As we showed you in game, if you right click the warp, you'll be group warped. Uh, there's a maximum amount of three players. I would probably put that a bit higher, to be honest, because um, I used to play with like six friends, maybe sometimes even ten friends. So I would put that up a lot. And the request time um, for the request is denied. So that's very cool. Then we have a big section on titles, the fade in time, the display time, and what it actually says, and whether it's uh, a title or a chat message. So there is quite a lot of titles. Then we have various icons, um, which is cool, so you can uh, edit various things about this. Whether it shows you coordinates, shows you owners, the creation date, that's not really important. I would set that to false, to be honest. Um, scroll down a bit more. Edit action is shift left click. Um, that's fine the way it is, you don't need to really edit that. Uh, buy action is left click, that's fine. And if we scroll down a bit more, we have the chat filter, which is very, very awesome. So uh, if you create a uh, warp name with one of these words or symbols, it will be uh, replaced with a star. So that's very cool. So I would add lots of swear words and derogatory terms here. So players can't obviously create um, bad warps or, or whatnot. We then have some sounds. Uh, which is kind of cool. You can change the pitch and volume, so you can make that quite funny, uh, depending on what number you choose. And the sound is uh, Enderman Teleport, which is a good sound uh, for teleporting. I would uh, definitely recommend you using that. We then have the animations, which you saw when I teleported. So um, there are various different types. There is Sphere, Cone, Helix, Simple Particle Burst, and Vortex. I would go with Helix. That sounds pretty cool. Um, and then you can change the radius of um, the animation. You can change the ratio. You can change the amount of particles that are displayed uh, per tick and the duration of how long it lasts. So that's very, very cool. You can obviously change the uh, particle as well. There is lots of different particles in game. Um, so if we scroll down even more, we get to all the prices. So here you can change the prices that we showed in game. If you're not op, you obviously have to pay for um, creating a warp, selling a warp, changing the owner, description, all of that good stuff. 
So that is mostly everything in this plugin. I hope I've covered enough and showed you how awesome this plugin is. It's really great, definitely the best warp plugin out there. Has so many cool features. So you can uh, purchase it from Spigot. I will leave a link in the description. It is premium, but uh, in my opinion, definitely worth it as it has so many great features that are unique that I've never actually seen before. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.